the objective of Odysseus is to revolutionize the way deep space missions are being done. So we want to take advantage of the small satellite revolution. At the same time, we also develop solutions for new mission profiles, for mission we could not even think about a few years ago. This has uh, dramatically changed. We now have uh, a, a booming private space industry worldwide, uh, obviously most in, uh, in the US, but also in, uh, in, in, in Europe, in Australia and Japan. And so we've seen a, a dramatic change of, of actually private companies uh, being active in space, not just with components and, and, and pieces, but also with entire launch systems, with uh, satellite constellations uh, and services. The, the technology is that has to be developed now for uh, deep space CubeSats and uh, constellation CubeSats uh, are uh, most about communications, navigation and uh, AOC. There is a strong uh, interest in autonomy for the, this kind of CubeSats. Uh, so when we talk about autonomy, one important point is the localization because we cannot use uh, GPS constellation as we are in deep space. So autonomous navigation is a strong interest for us as well. We have an interest in both uh, long-range telecommunication for single CubeSats, but as well for swarm configuration, so inter-satellite uh, communication in between uh, uh, numerous CubeSats. When it comes to deep space, uh, the environment is uh, not the same as Earth orbit. For example, about radiations, but as well for uh, thermal environment. So we are interested as well to uh, try to develop new components that uh, may be more adapted for this environment. For example, for mission more uh, um, close to the sun, uh, near Venus, for example. Uh, for deep space mission, we have to talk about uh, propulsion because you cannot expect to send something in deep space without the minimum of propulsion. Um, and, but the propulsion itself is not everything. You have to control it. So you have to design a new kind of attitude and orbit control system. And when you say that, you say there are four jobs. Attitude determination, attitude control, orbit determination and orbit control. That are four jobs, four different jobs. And it's necessary to become experts in all of these four jobs. Our team already built strong expertise on interplanetary CubeSat uh, deep space mission profiles. They already worked on some projects and already identified key challenges to be overcome in order to make uh, deep space CubeSat missions a success. And by already identifying these challenges, we know what key technologies we still are needed to be developed. With Odysseus, we want to build strong international cooperations with foreign institutions or private uh, companies in order to build a strong consortium to overcome these uh, key issues and create innovative deep space small satellite solutions together and make this kind of mission a success. We think Taiwan is a perfect place for Odysseus to be implemented. Taiwan already has a national space organization for more than 20 years, very active with hundreds of, of staff. Universities in Taiwan has been involved, especially in a small satellite development for more than 14 years. The high-tech environment is very strong. Taiwan being the leader in uh, many uh, ICT industries. And also there is this, uh, this will in Taiwan of developing international collaboration around R&D projects and that's also something we are pushing. Actually, NCKU has been working for 40 years on CubeSat and microsatellite mission and it is one of the first universities in the world to be involved in CubeSat development. Odysseus will give more opportunity for Taiwanese to work in space field. We will have more bilateral type of activities uh, between the uh, different uh, startups uh, here in Taiwan and also uh, over there in France. So this is one example, but there are also uh, activities with Europeans, uh, a lot of promotion about industrial cooperation, R&D cooperation, helping the, the Taiwanese uh, to join, uh, for example, international uh, R&D programs like Horizon 2020 in Europe. 
So this is also what's, uh, what's happening. Uh, uh, how to position Taiwan basically uh, as, as a hub and to bridge with the different other hubs around the world. We also get to provide the former set file as a platform such that our domestic company and some international company can join together to develop the different things. So we take this opportunity to develop several very important components, such that the Ambo computer and the power distribution control unit and the, the flight software also you know, fully developed by NSPO team. So in addition to that, the whole uh, payload module has been developed inside our country here. Well, we really want to offer our customers a full support from the moment they have a nice ID on paper. So we would provide them feasibility mission analysis and studies. We would do mission design and support. But we would also help them up to the moment they are building their satellite. So we would help them with testing support, with integration, with training. And then we would go with them up to the end of their uh, satellite missions where, where they would need us for mission support, for, deco for commissioning and for uh, launch campaign support. Odyssey has a good network and has to develop and maintain this good network of professionals. And a good network is a network of people uh, who have been already involved in a common work with Odyssey, and that's the case. By overcoming the challenges related to deep space nanosatellite missions. Not only we will create new mission profiles, which were unthinkable recently, but also we will participate to the democratization of interplanetary space. And by doing so, we could help the humankind to raise its consciousness that we are a space civilization.